Hello everyone, welcome to your fourth CSS tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be working uh, backgrounds. So first of all, I went to this page and downloaded a background. I visited google.com and I typed Photoshop blue pictures and I clicked on images and it showed me so many um, blue pictures and uh, so many, so many, so many, so many. I just chose the one with the best blue background and that was the one, this one, the one I love. You could, you could choose any other one. You could choose any other one. I chose this. And um, I downloaded it and uh, saved it in our images folder. Remember this folder in our famous site we have um, images. I saved it here and renamed it to something I can remember. All right, that being settled, we'll link to this and use it to, as the background of our page. You know, sometimes building, uh, actually using CSS to design a cool background is okay, but sometimes you just need to design an image. You know, so we'll get a background for this guy here. And um, before then, there is a CSS selector I've not taught you before. That is the the ID. Oh, 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 I've taught you the ID. I've taught you that of class. When we have the class. But then uh, there there is the one for tags. I've taught you this too. The class is, um, you use dot in the CSS file. Then um, you use a hash for divs. But then there are ones that are just elements that, like this. This is an opening tag. If we wanted to link to this, even without the ID, we we'll just write the name. So, for instance, body, we didn't write, we didn't put any attributes inside it. We don't have the ID or the class attribute. But then, what if we want a CSS to uh, apply to the body? What we'll do, we'll just write it just like that. We will just write it just like that as um, as body. That's all. The CSS will simply go to this page and um, check for the tag that has that is body or the body element and apply the CSS to it. That's what we need. So the body element, we need a background for it. Um, as you can see, using my intelligence, uh, my smart intelligence, there are so many things we can do on background. So many things. We have size. We have um, repeat. We have position we have origin and so on and so forth but then the general one is just background so with this just background I could um, I could do some crazy stuff which is for instance pick up our image and um, select it it writes the code for me remember when I taught you about linking to files um, you have you have to you have to link relative to where this background this um, image is so from the CSS folder this whatever.css is inside the CSS folder you remember this guy I'm going to pull it up right now it's inside this folder the whatever.css uh, we have it right here whatever.css so it's going to come out one it's it, to link to that image it has to come out of this folder one step and remember I taught you that if if it has to come out one step, it has to put those two two dots. So one step is equals to two dots. Uh, is equal to two dots, and um, you put a slash. Now it's now on the outside folder. Um, let me shift this to a place you can see. Okay, so it has come out now with two dots. Then it has to go in into the images folder. That that's the that's this um this slide here this um. This slash you're seeing goes into the images folder. This does this slash into the images folder, and um, what we have is um, inside the images folder. It has to link to this image, so that's what it means. So the background URL simply tells the background um, where to pick the image it's going to use. So we are going to um, put a semicolon, and we are going to refresh cool this is real cool but then we have a problem the color of the text are black so let's just make it white just for fun so that we can just see our text so we'll write color white color stands for text color so the text color will now be white and yeah so in CSS um, Due to the fact that there are so many selectors, you should always be careful. Understand your HTML document. 
So um, to help you know when you are applying a different color. So for instance, you might have changed the color somewhere here. Um, color red. You might have changed the color somewhere, and um, changing it somewhere else might conflict with it. So if you're changing the color, always be careful that you have not um, undone it somewhere else. As you can see, although the, the color of all the texts are white, but then the one for this div is red. And um, I know this is a very awkward design, but this is this is how to do it. Okay. Then the next thing we want to check is that there are other things you could do in the background. For instance, you could the image we chose is very large. That's why it covered the whole screen. Sometimes you choose a little. Uh, you may, you may have chosen a small image, which I will try to do now. I will reduce the size of this image. And um, you could do other things like make sure that it repeats. You could have something like background. Uh, you could repeat it. As you can see, no repeat means, hey, don't repeat. Once the once you reach the, the size of the image, stop. Don't worry about the remaining space. Okay? And there's background, repeat X. Horizontal and repeat Y vertical. It, it can re, it can make it to repeat only vertically. You understand? Once it, it gets to the bottom of the image, it will reprint the image again and reprint again like that vertically. Then horizontally, it's going to keep repeating reprinting to the right. Okay, that's really cool. Then, so another way to do this is instead of just using background, you could use background image. This will still work. Then apart from background image um, let me just quickly show you something you can comment out something you see what I just did I added this forward slash star then um, star forward slash this means that it's as if I have even deleted this comments make sure that the, the anywhere you comment out it will not work in the code the parser will not read it so instead of me just deleting this I can just comment it out this is no longer part of this code. Computer will not read it. It's only you as a human that can read it. That's what just happened. And as you can see, it has changed color. So we can just change the background color to anything we want. You know, we, we don't, assuming we don't have an image, we just want to choose a background color. We can just select the color and um, any color we want. Let's choose a weird color so that you, you just get to see what I'm talking about. So we change the color and we'll click this. And um, when we come back to our page here, we will refresh. We'll refresh. As you can see, the color has reflected there. There are so many other cool things you can do at the background. Like in CSS3, you, you just have to Google it. How to, to make beautiful backgrounds in CSS okay so when you google it you find your best of um, their pattern generators there are many other beautiful things the colors I'm using are plain colors they are gradients gradients nice colors you could use so in the next video tutorial I'll take you a little further we'll build the main very nice main for our site and then so on and so forth it's a very interesting experience building a menu with lists and I know, I know you've done lists in HTML we just carry that list and make a beautiful horizontal and vertical menu thank you very much see you in the next video tutorial you need to visit my site or my channel on YouTube and subscribe and um, always check out my site brain term to all my video tutorials are there alright see you in the next video tutorial uh, thank you very much and uh, have a wonderful day Hello everyone, welcome to your fifth HTML tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to um, create a menu. Very interesting, okay, so let's start. I just cleared out everything. I uh, will come to this page and clear out everything. Very nice, and we are back. So the next thing we want to do is to, like I told you, you create menu with lists. So we create a list and then, um, and our menu will be links where we have home about us. So this is the normal way to create lists, but then I will make it make them links. I'll create like um, you remember links in HTML, H ref for the location of the link, and then um, 
if you are designing a website and you don't want a link to go to any particular place at the moment you just put a hash sign instead of actually linking it to a real page so we can write home this is inside our link and then um, we'll create for about us contact us and um, maybe whatever else okay, so we have this this I've duplicated it and I will say about us and um, contacts us and um, whatever else whatever else okay so now we have a link we'll go and check it on our browser just to be sure that we are sure of what we are doing so I'll refresh everything to, to just disappear and this is what we have first of all to make a menu we have to know remember that hey, these guys have to go these dots at the side and uh, that will be an opportunity for me to teach you something so we'll go to a CSS and select this guy and start applying properties to it so the first thing we do is um, we say UL guy should come here and uh, list style the list style type should be none okay we don't want anything by the left no dots no nothing so we'll come here and refresh and it's gone but that's not um that was too fast we can check out all other things that all other types of list style type first of all we come back here and uh, enter the dots again it shows us a, a very nice um, list so what we do is we find the list style type where we have um, we can just choose a very interesting one alpha lower alpha that's lower alphabet so we'll click save refresh we have it in alphabets and so on and so forth you can check the full list for all other things you want Thank you. In the next tutorial, I will com continue this um, this tutorial of creating a menu. Thank you.